Hey there, YouTubers. I hope you're all having a fantastic Father's Day. Uh, to all the mums out there, I hope you're all having a fantastic Father's Day too. Keep uh, doing what you're doing. And dads as well, single dads. There are more than you think out there. I'm one of them. Um, yeah, I hope you've had a really fantastic Father's Day. I I know I have. I've uh, this this might go on a bit this video, but I've had a fantastic Father's Day with hunting and f just great family time, barbecues, beers. Um, but I'm going to show with you today what I got today. This might take a while. I hope you stay with it. Uh, you'll you'll be grateful you did. Um, first and foremost, I went to Sunday Market. Uh, I got this Matchbox Super Fast uh, Lamborghini Countach. Uh, number three. It's got it's a sticker rather than a tampo. Uh, opening boot. Nice little bit. Um, picked up Matchbox four by four Chevy van. I had one of these, but it was beaten. And I mean really beaten. Um, but this is a nice example. BF Goodridge. And there's a bit scratch, but I'm not too fussed about that. Uh, and then these other two. Um, the same truck, the Corgi Juniors, a Leyland Terrier. Uh, but one's green that says, Read Marvel Comics. Not asking you, telling you. That's Spider-Man, Hulk, and Captain America there. Same on the other side. It's a bit beat, but it's all right. Nice nick. And the other one is way better. Um, Daily Planet, Superman saves the world in a nice red. Um, you can see they're the same casting, same vehicle. nice little things anyway what I wanted to get on um, I seen somebody had posted that they got some cars from B&M which is a shop in the UK they sell all sorts from food to toys to households and anything anything you can think of you'll probably find it there pet stuff um, I were only going there to find hopefully find some 2014 cars uh, Somebody had found some and some uh, hot ones, I think. No, flying customs. Sorry. Uh, so I was really hoping to find them, um, but there weren't any there. What I did find, I think, blew it away. Uh, I did go first off this morning and spent bought ten cars at ninety nine pence each. Come to nine pound ninety if you do your maths. Is today's receipt the fifteenth? Um, and then, well, I had to go again because the cars were just—I couldn't leave them. So there's again the date. But this time I bought eleven. Um, let me show you what I bought. Um, first off the bat, these uh, these are special. We've got a, you can already tell by the card that they're quite old. Guaranteed for life. 1998 first editions Lincoln uh, 63 T-Bird with the uh, five dots. They're like pepper pops, what we would have called them on old cars. Sweet. There is variations of these older cars um, some are more expensive and harder to find or rarer than others but this is metal based metal body really nice casting um, yeah <clears throat> and then we had a circus on wheels series fat fender 40 on card metal base metal body this is from uh, 2000, 99 it says on back, so I'm guessing 2000, you can pause that if you want to have a look, I'm already 4 minutes in and I've only done 2 cars, 
um, that was then next off we've got uh, 1999 first editions Mercedes CLK LM Le Mans car obviously with the gold wheels Hot Wheels logo on the uh, spoiler there no painted tail lights no painted front lights but nice car to have I don't have one of these so sweet uh, then we've got another 1998 first editions major I, I've got to say that most of the cars that were there were first editions um, from various years this is a 98 again Mustang Mark 1 with the five spoke wheels which I've looked on South De Texas diecast I think I'm not sure to be fair that this is the harder to find variation correct me if I'm wrong um, but yeah nice to find this casting anyway love me Mustang with the, just a nice clean look they had back then they didn't put stupid ridiculous tampos there are some na that now are nice tampos on them saying that some of these have got ridiculous tampos this one for example but it's nice casting another 1998 first edition 65 Impala lowrider look at that tampo work on there man and this is I don't know if you can really see it on there it's more of a purple this it's really nice my phone doesn't pick up purple very well at all um, but yeah sweet next off uh, one that probably Josh the collector guy will like 2000 first edition Holden now I looked on South Texas Starcast and nearly weed in my pants when I seen that one of these is worth like $120 on card but that's if it's got a clear red um, spoiler this has just got a solid red I just can see two dollars if not but yeah it's madness how a little variation like that can bump a car's price up um, next we have a 1997 first edition 50 se 59 Chevy Impala look at that nice sweet it's really nice um, next next <laughs> There is a variation on this that's ridiculous. It's super rare or something that's got black interior. But this is a 1996 first edition, nice 1970 Dodge Charger Daytona in red with a tanned interior with uh, these 10 spokes, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven spokes, sorry. There are about four variations, I do believe, with different wheels. Uh, there's a black interior one that is obviously the super hard to find one apparently um, yeah nice to get that uh, next 2000 first edition Dodge Charger RT I had to pick it up there were a couple of other ones that I would have liked to pick up but I think I'd spent enough to be honest with you maybe I'll go back Tuesday I've got a day off, uh, half a day off even. Um, next up, Shear. I know you collect this model, mate. So let me know if you have this. If you don't have it, if you would like it, it's 2000 first edition. So fine, in black with a red interior. I haven't actually looked this one up because. I didn't have time after I went f back for the other ones to look for some uh, look uh, up some of them, but I know she is a big fan of this casting. So uh, if you want it, mate, I wouldn't mind putting it to one side. I'm not going to say I'm going to get it to you immediately, but you know me, mate. I'll uh, put it to one side for you. Uh, next up, we've got a. Uh, Surfing, fo surfing fun series 40s woody there's some crazy flowery weird tampos on there what does it say 
uh, North Shore. I'm not quite sure. God knows what well, that's in, that 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 purple. In fact, that's a really nice purpley pink. In fact, on one side, if you look, it's got a tam a flower on that side, but not on that side. That's pretty weird. I didn't quite look at this properly. I just like the casting. Uh, next up, 2000 first edition Lincoln Continental in what I can only say an amazing white with a red interior. Uh, there are variations on this again. Um, yeah, sweet that car. Glad to pick this up. Really nice. Uh, <laughs> it's funny, I were only talking to the other day to Cobra. I said um, it showed a 99 Mustang that's come out this year in blue. So I've never seen it before. Na Mustangs are my f one of my ni favourite cars. Cast casting, sorry. But like the 92 and the 99 Mustang really appealed to me. So I found myself a 99 Mustang in purple with these crazy three spoke alloys on it you can see the pony on the side there Hot Wheels logo Mustang on the back see it's just these little details that are on the old ones that just set them apart from the new models today um, next off this apparently I, I need to look this up a little bit better but this is a 99, 1999 first editions, 1936 cord, and I know this came in two colours, this colour and another colour, and I'm sure this colour is the higher sought after, I think, we'll say. I don't like to put a price on cars, they cost me 99 pence, you know what I mean? To me, it's 99 pence. Um, it, it, hundred dollars, a thousand dollars, or obviously pounds. I'm not fussed. It cost me ninety nine pence, man. I'm not going to split hairs over it. Um, next up, we've got a two thousand and one first edition Ford Focus, which I've wanted one of these for a long time. I didn't matter which which one year it were, but this obviously first year with this sweet casting that's based on a real drag car, I do believe. Correct me if I'm wrong. I'm sure you will. <laughs> um, next up, sorry, this is gonna go on for quite a while because I've, I've only got a few more left, but 1998, first edition, 70s, Roadrunner. There is a variation with some other wheels that are, for some reason, outlandish price on South Texas diecast. Says a uh, 126 Hemi on the bonnet. Got a nice little uh, logo on the back. Simple, but it's effective for me. Um, next up, this. I'm not sure about this either because I haven't actually looked this up yet. It's 2000 first edition Diora 2 with pepper pots or five dots. I know they call them five dots in USA, so we'll go with five dots. Um, got his surfboards on there with Hot Wheel logos on. Nice little, not particularly one of my favourite castings, but it were a first edition and they were the best that were there. Uh, the last two, I just picked these two up because I noticed straight off the bat that they uh, they were different. Um, they're both first editions, but one's on one of those cards. I'll show you that from there, 32 Ford. And one is on a totally different card. And if you see the blister for this one, it looks like it's from the, the Dirt Tracker casting, like it's supposed to have that massive spoiler on the top, that wind catcher thing you know what I'm on about whereas that one doesn't I know I've actually seen pictures of, and it's got this blister so I know it's not like an 
an error, but it's just weird. So yeah, but anyway, as you notice, this one, the wheels on this one of the, well, I don't know what they're called. Somebody will let me know, please. Uh, and this one has just got the normal five dots on it. So not five dots, five spoke. So as you can see the two wheel variations better that way. Happy to find them. Uh, last but not least, thank you for holding out. If you have held out, if you've skipped, then I don't blame you. Sometimes it can get a bit boring. But this is a 1996 first edition. Um, I did look this one up because the first time I went, I picked this one up, which has <clears throat> this is just a nice 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 compilation of stickers and casting and wheels the Goodyear wheels on there as soon as I seen that I thought yes I'll nick them wheels then I got home and had a look on South Texas diecast and found out there's three variations of this um, they only had two of them there's this one sorry I'll stop shaking I got excited there's this one with the big wheel variation there's another one that's got some really rubbish wheels on it and there's this one that's got the small wheel variation when it focuses in there if you can see that it's not very noticeable at all to be fair with you but if you hold it like that if you see how much closer to the fender that one is than that one and the front wheel there it's the slightest difference so yeah that's quite a nice and these are heavy metal base metal bodies I'm guessing by the way it's the Chevy uh, 1500 1500 whatever you like to call it they're both on the same card uh, yeah they were one of them on the pegs that had a little round sticker on the bottom that said two dash not no they didn't have a pound symbol in front and it didn't have a dollar sign in front so it could have come from anywhere but what I'm guessing is that somebody's had stock of these and decided they don't want them no more and sold them on um, somehow they've got to B&M and they're selling them for 99 pence 99 pence um yeah what a what a what a deal um just before i leave you yeah, all to enjoy the rest of your father's day i'd just like to say um a big shout out to seth i hope you get miss well aka mr sensitivity i hope you um get better soon mate it was a bit emotional your video of the day um, I don't like to think of anybody poorly not even my worst enemies so yeah I hope you get better I hope everybody's had a fantastic Father's Day I hope you're all having fun I hope like me you've had some great finds because well there were some great finds just these two alone bosh anyway um, peace out Sure, let me know if you want that. Um, so fine. I know it's your favourite model. Anyway, peace out. Happy hunting. Um, yay, happy Father's Day.